Well, I don't know how much further I can go on Just that. go. And just do just it. Go yeah. Tell, yeah. tell go. me about your we'll gut feelings about life. About yeah. why you do what you do, about how you're connected, about what it, how you're everything connected is connected. You're very connected to the earth, I can tell you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You like that family, the earth. Yeah, well, I mean, I think um, everybody looks for their way to get access to power. You know, like some people like to have a bunch of money. Some, a lot of my friends are big... Um, gun guys and the way I see it is they just like they have all that power that comes right from their finger and um, you know a guy with a 500 horsepower car he doesn't need the 500 horsepower to get on the extra ramp but it's there he knows he has this power he can access and I find myself tapping into I, I like you know and I get guys who you know oh you shouldn't be on a bicycle I just twist the throttle and that's my power but I say I find gravity man gravity is you're not gonna be find a bigger power than gravity so when like you're like on a ski slope and you're sailing down the hill like you've harnessed this huge base of energy and now right. you're riding it and it's downhill mountain biking or um, you know I like to clump surfers into that same kind of uh, ride and just the flow of the earth. When you can tap into that, it's just uh, you know, unlimited, you know, so. So that's how you view what you do. That's how you, you're, you're keeping, you're one of these people that's keeping a lot of things in motion, really on the earth, from an earth standpoint, in your little world. Yeah, you have to find fun in your own little world. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and you have to find a new challenge every day or else you just kind of get stale. That's how I found it. We found a new challenge because nobody could figure <laughs> out what was wrong with it. By the way, I'm still here waiting for a part to come in only because Tim diagnosed the problem when nobody else could. Let me ask you, with a mind like yours, which we're just realizing what's up above those shoulders, how do you deal with these two little girls you have? Oh, uh, um, <laughs> I just try to influence them, but um, let them figure out, yeah, I don't know, they're just like little um, entities that are developing on their own, and it's funny when you see your mannerism, mannerisms in them, and uh, they will say your own words right back to you. Um, yeah, Is that one of those, where did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. There's those, but just little expressions, like, um, you know, one of them will look at it, you know, if you ask her to do something, she'll look at it and go, really? <laughs> like, oh, well, Is I that guess, what you do a lot? Yeah, both my wife and I, I guess, will have taught her that one, but um, yeah, I mean, kids are great, and uh, you know, we're just trying to show them all the cool things that life has to offer, like um, they've been skiing and riding bikes. And they were, you know, they were riding bikes when they turned three, and we've got them skiing now and swimming and just, you know, I mean, all that stuff's fairly normal. But right, right. we're just trying to show them how much fun you can have on this earth. Oh, cool! I can tell they're very, very fortunate. <laughs> I have, and I'm sure your wife is on the same page because I can tell it wouldn't work. She'd be back. You'd, she'd be in the mountains or somewhere else if she wasn't. So she's, I, I can tell mentally you're probably both uh, uh, together in how you raise these children. It's so important. Yeah, yeah. We have, um, you know, we both have a, want the same things out of life. We have a, we moved out of town and now we have a little three acre farm that we've so we've got garden and fruit trees we've got chickens um, trying to just you know teach well it helps teach the kids like eggs don't come from the grocery store you know they what shoot out of the back of that chicken oh, this is not a grocery store the place is loaded with them <laughs> Yeah, and carrots can come out of the ground, and it's fun to uh, well, enlighten them. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, well, you're telling that to your kids? 
Have they been to the grocery store? I know, it's like fairy tale stuff. But... Yeah, we're gonna go to school and go, look, my dad's either off his rocker or he really hasn't been to the grocery store because <laughs> he thinks we're gonna eat these things that really didn't turn out because it didn't rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, maybe that's a lesson in itself that uh, <laughs> sometimes things don't work out as you plan. Yeah, but if they don't, what is it? It's just life. It's life. And that's what you teach them. I know. <laughs> I know, it's great. Don't you love this guy? A plus Tim, you can't help it. You gotta love him. Go ahead and hit me up and tell me what you think, because he's gonna love to hear about it. That's Maui Mark. Maui Mark 44. Hit me up, that's the email. Maui Mark here. Just want to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channels, like my videos, make a comment, and those of you who are procrastinators, hey, take a look at me. How much time do you think I got left? Get with it. And about those comments, just keep in mind I have a real good friend in Florida, Chris Capone. Yep, he's from Sicily, the real deal. You don't want him to send the boys, do you?